I'm here to give you tips on how to build a successful business using the internet. Now, it doesn't matter if your business is uh, off the internet, like you have physical locations, or you're just running an e-commerce store, like online business on the various social media platforms. Now, I'm sure already you may have your business on social media. So, I mean, if you don't have your business on social media, that is a different talk. You need counseling, maybe, <laughs> I tell you. But um, now that you have your business on the several social media platforms, maybe you have it on Instagram, you have it on Facebook, you have it on LinkedIn, on Twitter, TikTok and Snapchat, you know, as the case may be. The question now is that which one should you focus on? Or if you, let me say, you want to make a grand announcement, for instance, which one should you make that grand announcement on to say, oh, okay, yeah, uh, maybe you have new arrivals in your store or new stuff that are just coming in from outside the country or something like that, or new, new product, and you say, you want to make a big announcement, you know, which platform do you use if you have multiple platforms, which is good you have your businesses on multiple social media platforms and my my answer to that would be i think you should use the one where you have the most engagements you know you should um, make big announcements make grand announcements promo offers and the rest of it possibly giveaways as well on the platform where you have the most engagement now what do i mean by engagement i mean likes comments and people making inquiries about your product and services now take for example you have 20,000 followers on instagram and you have 1,000 followers on linkedin now the followers on linkedin anytime you post they always give commenting on your post they like your post and you know on linkedin when you like a post that post automatically appears on their feed on the feed of the person that likes it and so it's like they're also sharing it because once they like it, it appears on their own feed. And so you have people engaging with you on LinkedIn. You have people commenting and asking you, oh, where can we meet? Um, where can you, how can you send this to me? You know, and you have just 1K followers there. But then on, on Instagram, you have 20K followers. And people are not really engaging. They're not really commenting. They're not really, you know, liking. Maybe out of the, you know, you get a post and you have, let me say, less than 50 likes and you get let me say 10 comments even when you have 20,000 followers it simply means your followers are not engaging you know so that means that you have more engagement on linkedin so linkedin should be where not that you focus all your attention there but when you want to make big announcements for your business then you should do it where you get the most engagement now um, does not mean you should totally abandon Instagram because people are not engaging with you there. You know, because you have 20k followers there or more followers than you have on LinkedIn or any other platform, um, you, you have more reach there. Now, I'm going to explain the difference between reach and engagement in another, in another video. But for now, um, let's just, just stick with making announcement, grand announcement, promo offers, giveaways on platforms where you have the greatest the best audience. That's all for now. My name is Emmanuel Atta. I'm the principal of Digital Skill School. Uh, I'm a content manager. And you can send me a DM on my personal Instagram handle at Moral Nigerian, M-O-R-A-L Nigerian, one word. I can help take a look at your social media platforms and your website to see what you are doing right and what you could be doing better in order to take your business to the next level online.